Hi folks, welcome to the Dirty Glove Garden. This video, I'm just going to share some composting tips. So let's have a look at my compost uh, pile at the moment in the stable compost. So this is probably about three months old. Uh, so it's looking really good. Obviously, it's a little bit uh, more wet than I'd like it, but it's just been raining like crazy. Um, and this is covered um, usually. So this is the pile. You can see it's breaking down really well. It's got that sweet smell to it. So that's when you know it's working, right? It doesn't stink. It's got that sweet oniony smell, right? So it's breaking down well. You can see there's a lot of scraps uh, in there, a lot of kitchen scraps. So in this one, I'm just going to go over how you can get some more browns in there because browns is a difficult one. Uh, so let's go into the kitchen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the kitchen composting setup that I've got here. Nice big uh, tin here for the kitchen scraps. Get one of those, but you can use any old uh, bucket um, or tub. And that's the scraps that are going into the compost bin. And we're never short of these, right? We do a lot of um, fresh cooking, veg, um, all of that. So there's always scraps, uh, a lot of fruit scraps, banana peels, uh, apple cores, um, a lot of uh, onions and potatoes and all of that yeah eggs as well so that's all that's never a problem the problem is the browns right so the browns obviously you need a mix of greens and browns so this is your greens right is your veg scraps and all of that but you need your browns as well which is like sort of your leaves your dead leaves and your paper yeah cardboard right so that one's the difficult one so when i started off the compost bin it was full because it was literally all the autumn leaves right uh, but then after that it was grass clippings and it was kitchen scraps and there wasn't a lot of browns because all the browns come from those autumn leaves right which you're going to get in autumn leaves and you're not going to get them again but you can see what i'm doing here and this is the main tip that i want to share with you so that now is a good size bag of brown material that's going to go in to that compost pile here right and all you need for that is your shredder is your basic uh, eight sheet paper shredder right so i've got it here i think this was like 30 quid maybe from argos or something like that um and just use the cardboard now the cardboard that you want there is it does need to be the plain cardboard so it can't be the cardboard that has the print uh, on there because that has uh, the toxins that will leach into your, into your comp compost, right? So plain cardboard, cardboard. so Amazon packages, um, even the boxes that you get from the supermarkets, just break them down, right? And what I do is you can, you don't even need your shredder, you can just tear them up into little pieces, right? Tear them up into pieces like that, because obviously that helps with the breaking down. Bigger they are, that's going to take a lot longer to break down. Smaller is going to break down quicker, right? Compot uh, in your shredder, sorry, and it's going to break down even better, right? So that's all I'll do. And just keep it going. Just get quite noisy. Fairly self-explanatory, though, right? So there you go. Get your browns. You can, like I said, you use these from your parcels. If you're not much of an online shopper, um, you can go to the supermarket, and they've got the uh, the the packaging and the boxes there as well. So do build it up. Don't just chuck in little bits. You can chuck in little bits at a time, but if you build it up, that's even better. There's probably a bit too much there because I was going to chuck that into a bed um, as well. But that is is perfect, right? Because um, like I said, a lot of that, that's probably in my compost pile at the moment, that's probably 70% kitchen scraps. Um, so let's go and chuck this in. Right. Okay, let's get this stuff unloaded. So really quite simple to be honest, All right? Let's get a good amount in there. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is also, I'm just gonna mix in those that's the kitchen scraps and also other things that you can use as well. So what I've done here, you'll see a video on my channel about the uh, eggs. So this is of just pestle and mortar and just ground down these eggs and it's finer like that. And that'll help uh, break down, help it break down. You can put the full egg in as well, uh, the full eggshell, um, but that just helps with it breaking down into the compost. Okay, and also a very good fertilizer. And then the other thing that I've got 
that helps as well is coffee grounds. So these are a bit old now, so they've got a bit of um, it's like a sort of white cobwebs on them, but they're still good to use. So the coffee grounds they'll work as uh, a brown, sorry, a green. Yeah, they'll work as a green, even though they're, they're brown, right? So that's uh, adding to the nitrogen element of it, right? So there you go, and you can get these what for free from the coffee shops. Yeah. Okay, and then of course, last but not least, just really mix that in. Yeah, just mix it in. Mix it in with your current pile. Okay, and that will really help the composting process. So you can see here, that's really is a good mix. It's all breaking down really well. And when you put your stuff in, all right, just make sure that you're cutting it down, right? I mean, you don't have to, it's just gonna take a lot longer, right? So the banana skins, I'll chop them up into little pieces. Just get a scissor, get a nice sharp scissor, and that'll help. Yeah, so you can see here, that's some uh, watermelon skin, that's some peelings. Okay, there you go. So you can see that, that's nicely mixed in. Yeah, and that's gonna help with the composting. All right, if some of the stuff's too big, you should use gloves really when handling a compost pile. Just break it down if it's too big, All right? And then same again, I'm just gonna layer again. So I'm gonna put more browns in, get some more of the greens in and mix it in, okay? So there you go. So that's uh, a little bit of advice regarding your compost pile. So that's com coming out really good. I'm really excited about that. So that'll be my first uh, compost, uh, compost pile. But like I said, it's coming on really good. Keep mixing it. Um, you know, keep using the little tips, little advices, little hacks, uh, and that'll just speed it up, speed up the process. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.